Hey, welcome back to another uh, just plain and simple deck video. The uh, reason I put this one off for a while is because obviously a ban list happened and a uh, <clears throat> certain uh, a certain card got a got a, a little bit touched on the list. If uh, <clears throat> just a, just a certain card there. <laughs> uh, reason being i didn't even know if i was going to play this deck because i wanted to branch out and play some other ones uh for example i'm a really big fan of salad and sky strikers so the fact that they got some of their power cards back one made me want to play those but i am essentially doing this on a dare slash a told you so because yes dinosaur functionally can still operate and it can still do what it needs to do but without misc at three only having the one as power is significantly reduced and based on most of your hands you just fundamentally lose to pretty much every hand trap in the game but i'm gonna still try to make it work just to see if i can even get anything done but i am just gonna essentially take this to my local and see if it can still do anything and if not i'll just be like cool moving on uh, but uh i'll just uh get into the deck profile to show you what i'm running to try to still make the deck function so obviously post ban list we are only allowed to have one of the best card in the game now <laughs> i understand why this card got hit but i mean I'll, I'll, I'll get into it as i go on with profile uh probably with this next card in fact uh we still have over raptor at three so at least there's that uh this is essentially your main starter now this is how you search out your misc uh, depending on your hand, even, because what you want to do with Misk is destroy a baby, so you essentially have to hard draw one of those, and I'll get into that later as to why I'm running the ratio that I do with the babies to help facilitate that. But uh, let's just walk through this real quick. If you open this card, and you do not also hard open Misk, what happens? Normal Summon. Effect. If your opponent has any generic hand trap in the game you lose if your opponent has ash they ash this they're going to ash this because misc is at one so the odds that you have it are very low if they ash this you lose if they veiler this veiler is becoming popular again especially with striker you lose imperm is becoming popular again if they imperm this you lose there's there's so many there's so many hand traps that just stop you, not to mention people are still running Droll, Lancia, and other stuff that hit Drytron and other things that are becoming more popular. You just functionally lose to most every hand trap in the game. So the deck can still do what it needs to do, but I mean, you're essentially just hoping your opponent op opens no hand trap, and that's not a good game plan in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> but anyway, moving on, just to show you the list I'm working with. Uh, I still do run two Arcasaur. Uh, this one's a little better if you open it now because, I mean, you still do want to resolve this card to pop a baby in your hand, search the pill, and then pop off with baby. Uh, but, I mean, you still functionally want to search out Misk, summon this from the deck, and then go from there. Problem is, it's a little bit harder to get to Misk now. I consider running this at three so that I could more so facilitate uh, using this card still. But I it, that's just too much of a two-card combo to rely on because you still have to open this and a baby, and you're not guaranteed to do that. Uh, speaking of the babies, I do still run the uh, three baby Ceratosaurus and the one Petite Pteranodon. I considered cutting one of these down to try to uh, get down to less cards. Uh, I'm, this is a 41 card deck, and the reason it is is because I'm running Call by the Grave and I'm running the ratio that this is. I originally had planned to only do two and one, but I decided to go ahead and go with the three because opening a baby in your hand is now kind of more important than ever because you want to have your only search in the deck for a dino monster potentially be your miscellaneous source you want to your hope is that you open a baby and over raptor or fossil dig or you know maybe you get lucky and open your one of misc so that you can still open up your combos so just having having that is more important than ever and in the in the grind game and your full combos i have found that uh that all four of these come up so just having them in your deck or in your hand becomes handy as well uh, we do still run the, the Scrap build, uh, so we run the two Scrap Raptor and the one Chimera. Uh, we don't run the Fridge, Fridge is a brick in this, and uh, we don't run three because Lost World Scrap Raptor, you can still do essentially a full combo with that, but again, it's much harder without Misk. And the reason we're doing the Scrap build is because I I just fundamentally think Ghost Second Dinos just cannot work anymore. You 
you just cannot consistently facilitate go second board breaking dino without three misc. So if you're playing dino, you're pretty much going to have to tailor the deck to being a go first build, a, a blind go first. You can still go second. The deck's the ultimate conductor Tyranno is still a hell of a card. It breaks boards. It's, it's ridiculous. But you can't do anything nearly as consistently with only one miscellaneous horse now. So you have to pretty much tailor it to be a blind go first. Uh, and then just the last extender, we just will play the one giant Rex. This is actually really, this is actually more important than ever now as well, because this helps get into more of your rank four plays. Uh, this helps you do your uh, generic synchros, and it's just a really good card to uh, to extend with. And then just the boss monsters, uh, do still play the two conductor. I considered upping this as well, to um, because obviously with only one misc, uh, hard summoning this could be better, but that... Uh, uh, that just relies on you getting dinos into your graveyard in general and if you just get stopped early on there's really no way you're going to be doing that anyway and we just still main deck the pank tops because if you can main deck pank and search it potentially slash summon it out from the deck why not and regardless pank is just still a hell of a card if it was at more than one we would be playing it at more than one uh, to, onto the monster hand traps. Uh, I finally got my secret rare of these, and I could not be happier of that. So we run three Ash, and uh, only two Ghost Bell. Uh, also got my secrets of these, and I am incredibly happy about that. Uh, only two Ghost Bell. Um, I think Ghost Bell is going to be a much more important hand trap this format, especially with the return of uh, Striker and Salad to more prominence. But also with matchups like Drytron, um, I still think Tri-Brigade is going to be doing at least a little bit because Revolt is still a hell of a card, and this card being able to stop Revolt is really handy. And obviously, if you don't need it, you can just side it out. Uh, this ratio works with my uh, with my side deck. There's a, We'll get to that later, but there's some two ofs in my side deck that I can easily side this out for if I don't need them. And then we, of course, still play Gamma because this is Dinos. Uh, I understand why some people have dropped this, but I mean, now that you're vulnerable to m many more hand traps in this game... Uh, with only having one miss, you gotta have some way to protect yourself with it, and Gamma is one of those ways. If you activate Fossil Dig, and your opponent tries to Ash it, or if you Fossil Dig and they draw you, uh, you gotta have this to protect yourself, because, I mean, it's not gonna end up mattering much anyway, because they're gonna hold it for your normal summon of Overaptor or Arcasaur if, you, if it comes to that, but just as much as you can, you gotta facilitate your plays, you gotta be able to protect yourself from hand traps as much as you can, and Gamma helps to do that. Also, you'll see with the uh, the full list, but uh, depending on all of your hands, the only functional brick in this deck is Driver. So for that to be a thing is uh, is uh, pretty cool. I mean, there are obviously cards that you don't want to draw, but you can still functionally use them in combos if you draw them. Uh, on to the spells. This is Dinos. We play three Lost World, and we do play the one Terraforming. Uh, I wasn't playing this before just because I wanted to make space, but I put this back in here now because, uh, again, with only one misc, there's a lot more you have to do to make up with that, to make up for that. And uh, Lost World is a hell of a card. You got to see it a lot more now. It helps facilitate more of your plays. The uh, the shenanigans you can do with the token, especially with Overaptor, this is just such an important card, and it's much more imperative that you see it now that misc is at one. Uh, the card that we thought was going to get hit. Uh, or at least I thought it was going to get hit more so than any other, but did not. We still have three of these. We can still take advantage of it. Uh, essentially, depending on your hand, this is just more copies of Misk. That's that's what this card has become now. <laughs> Which is also why your opponent is more likely to ash this card now, even though they might have the read that you have uh, more than one of these in your hand. Uh, this card has just become much more of a threat, so you can bluff with it, or you can try to bait something out, and then if you have Gamma in your hand as well, that's also why we play Gamma. Uh, the standard Dino package, still two pill. Uh, this will pretty much be the uh, the standard for at least a long time to come because you don't want to draw it, but if you do, you have to have one in your deck to resolve Arcasaur. Uh, the card that makes most of these shenanigans possible, we still play three Pot of Prosperity. This card is still ridiculous, and I will still be running it as a three of in this deck because it is insane. Uh, there's some other quality of life cards, two Twin Twister. Uh, I'm doing this, uh, obviously, because uh, cards like uh, uh, Prank Kids still still functions well. They didn't get touched on the list, so stopping their stuff in the standby phase is really important. 
uh, hitting striker cards is really good. Plus, I need to have a Mystic Mine out because that card is coming back into much more prominence, especially with striker because they're the main ones that run it. And then we do play the Call by the Grave because we need as much hand trap protection as possible. Uh, I considered running the Instant Fusion and then using an extra deck space for uh, for uh, Millennium Eyes Restrict, but I I just couldn't justify the space for it. I need to play the rest of this more so than those based on how my local operates. That is the uh, main deck. That is 41 cards. If you want to cut it down to 40, then you can experiment with uh, maybe cutting down the babies to two Baby Ceratosaurus, one Petit Tyranodon, or if you don't think you need the Call by the Grave, you can cut that or any of the other choices that you didn't think were necessary. That's just what I feel that I have to do to facilitate what this deck needs to be able to do now that Misk is at one and what goes on at my locals. On to the extra deck. Uh, we still play a sizable Xyz engine in this. Uh, the one Dolka, Dinos will pretty much always play this. One Lagia, same reason. I've seen some people cut this, but th this card is ridiculous. Stop any summon, stop any activation of any card. It's just... You need this for some matchups. Uh, Dweller, this card is going to become a lot more important in this. Uh, it's been important for the last few formats, but it's still going to be relevant in this format as well. Uh, I decided to keep Tornado Dragon here to help against back row matchups or just generic back row removal in case that ever comes up. It, and I really think it will, especially with Striker coming back to more uh, prominence. Uh, I did throw Bagoose Gun here, and the reason for that is sometimes I end up in a situation where the only two summons I can get off are Scrap Raptor to search out Chimera and then use Chimera to revive Scrap Raptor and then I'm just stuck with two level fours on the field. So if I'm ever put in that situation where I only get one rank four, I think Baguska would help more than the rest of them. It obviously depends on the matchup, but uh, just sitting on a Baguska can a lot of the times just end your opponent's turn. So if I need to do that, then I'll do that. And then I'm still playing Dagaras to help facilitate um, uh, if I need draw power, if I need to boost something in the battle phase to push for game. Uh, spoiler alert, we are still playing the Pentastag to help facilitate that with Dugaris. But I mean, if that ever comes up, it's, it's just too good not to play. And Dinos can take advantage of it too easily. So I still think it's a good card. I understand why a lot of people have dropped it. But I've just found that sometimes you just need it just to help push for game more. Uh, the two synchros that we still play, we still play Savage and we still play Omega. Uh, this is part of the combo. Uh, we play Gamma, so we have this. Also, you can hard make this to, uh, to put Misk back in the graveyard. If you ban it, if you, if you, you know, Misk effect, you put Misk in the graveyard. I've seen builds of the deck that play uh, Nemesis, Keystone, and Gallic Granite. I considered that, but I just found that. I mean, it's it does take up a little bit of space. I mean, yeah, it's only one card in the deck and one card in the extra deck, but it can be bricky. I found myself drawing it when I didn't need to, and it kind of bricked up my hand with everything else that I drew. Uh, you're a lot more vulnerable to hand traps with that because, I mean, you still do get the protection of Misk for all your dinos. And uh, spoiler alert, Gallic Granite and Nemesis Keystone are not dinosaurs. So uh, that just leaves you more vulnerable at a lot more points. And I mean, you still are in the normal combo, but I just didn't want to... I just didn't want to have that uh, hindrance to me to be able to be more vulnerable. You're already vulnerable in enough places, so I didn't want to be more vulnerable, essentially. But uh, Omega, you can hard make Omega in this, even if you don't do it with the uh, Gamma Driver. But if you have Misk Banished, then during your opponent's standby phase, you can just use this to put Misk back in the grave. Which, honestly, I feel is kind of better than Nemesis Keystone, because, yeah, Keystone puts it back in your deck. You can use it later uh, if you drew... A fossil dig that you didn't need or if you drew two fossil dig then you can search it anyway but that's just relying on ifs you know did you draw it do you have a certain type of hand this is just consistency wise if you need to recycle misc i mean you're going to want it in the graveyard anyway because that's how you get your follow-ups so i just i just feel uh that uh omega is enough and uh i i, I just don't need to play nemesis keystone i feel on to the rest, uh, we do still, of course, play Link Rebo and Secure Gardener. This is just your consistent way to get to Conductor. Uh, we're playing Scrap Build, so you have to play Scrap Wyvern, part of the combo. We're playing Gamma, so going to Lambda. Uh, I found myself going into this a lot more, actually, with how my end boards end up. Uh, whether or not I have the Gamma, you can bluff it and make your opponent play a different way anyway, so that just helps in general. Uh, we do still play, you saw this earlier, we play the Pentastag to help push for game through uh if we had to activate prosperity on a turn that we're trying to go for game this just helps 
uh, along with Dugares to push for game. And then uh, the big rank fours, we do still play Appaloosa as part of the combo, and we play Access Code because we can clear the board and go for game with this. Uh, pretty much every time I make Access Code, I find myself making it after Appaloosa, so you boost Access Code by 4k, and you put most of these links in the grave when you do this anyway, so you have a decent number of pops when you uh, go into Access Code, so it's just really handy to do that. That is the extra deck on to the side deck that I have chosen to go with. Uh, in some capacity, you need to be main decking or side decking this. It was really important in the last format, but it's going to be important in this format as well. So uh, get your drolls. They're going to be useful. Uh, I'm playing two Nibiru. Uh, the reason I'm not playing three is because I wanted to make space to uh, have the Dugger on. Uh, I can I I just cut this from the main deck just for space. There's uh, there's only a few, if any, matchups that this would come up against. But I mean, if you need a kaiju, then put then you know, searchable kaiju. That's always handy. So if it ever comes up, I just have that option available to me. Uh, it's also a two of to uh, side out the ghost bells if I didn't need those. So ratio wise in the deck, it just helps. Uh, additional back row removal. You have the one feather duster and the one. Lightning Storm. Uh, I'm already playing the Twin Twister, so if I'm in a back row matchup, uh, just put these in just for extra help. Uh, I, I do still want the Twin Twisters because it's a quick play, so you can do it during the standby phase to play around Prank Kids. You can do it during your opponent's turn. It helps play around uh, Anti-Spell and Imperial Order. Those are going to become more popular as well with Striker coming back. Uh, play the Forbidden Droplets, of course, still, because this is a, an insane card that is just going to help stop everything your opponent does. Speaking of Imperial Order, guess what? We play it too. Speaking of stopping spell cards, guess what? We play those too. Uh, there's there's so much Striker coming back at my local because one engage is all they need, so I have to be able to stop the bullshit. Uh, that is it for the deck profile. I'll take this to local, see how it does, and I'll probably come back and say, told you so, dinos are dead, because Misk is the direct power of the deck. Uh, but I digress. We'll just... I'll, I'll have fun with it anyway, but I don't expect to get too far with, uh, with how the deck is now. But we'll see. Anyway, that's gonna about wrap things up. Thanks for tuning in, and have a good rest of the day.